What's up? Oh man, see that right on my face right there? You see what that is? It's called sunshine and it is beautiful. Um, yeah, such a nice day outside and so today I'm gonna go riding, but I'm actually, I'm switching it up. I'm gonna be riding a mountain bike. I have a big competition called Crankworks coming up in New Zealand. Um, and it's come up real quick and I've been spending a lot of time on my BMX bike. A lot of time, I've been feeling pretty good. But now it's time to switch it up, switch it over and start riding this beast. Let's see, oh man, look at that. Yes, this is my Haro Steel Reserve. And uh, it's been neglected, I'm not gonna lie, it's been neglected but it's time to ride it again. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I'm gonna load up here in a second and then just uh, head, to, uh, head to the jumps, meet some guys out there and hopefully have a good session. So that's the plan. Sounds like a good plan, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so you might be wondering, or maybe you're not wondering, um, what some of the major differences, that guy just gave me the middle finger. That's interesting. Um, Anyways, let's start over again. So you might be wondering, <laughs> oh, some people, man. Um, yeah, so the difference is riding uh, a mountain bike versus a BMX bike. And there's the obvious ones, you know, like the wheels are bigger. Uh, what else? The bike's bigger, the bike's longer. Um, you know, just the way it feels in general. Um, but the, some of the stuff that people don't really know or maybe don't think about is that the overall forces on the bike are so much different. Like to spin a 360 or even a 720 on a mountain bike takes so much more effort than it does on a BMX bike. Especially if you have your BMX bike set up real compact, it's just, it's crazy feeling. It's real twitchy and you just basically like have to just kind of just turn your head and it goes. Uh, with a mountain bike, you gotta kind of really put your whole body into it. That goes for flipping, that goes for bar spins, anything like that, it just takes more effort. So for me to switch to the mountain bike, I have to constantly remember to like, just exaggerate every motion, you know, whether it be like dipping my shoulder harder on a 360 or spinning the bars harder or whatever it is. It just, I have to keep that in mind. Otherwise, I'll be under rotating, flips, spins, uh, and bar spins, which is definitely not good. But uh, the other thing is that, like, just the mountain bike, it feels so much more stable. And that's not really a bad difference. That's a good thing. When you're going really fast and hitting these big jumps, the shocks, the suspension, it, it makes such a big difference in how it feels that like when you're in the air over like a 35 footer, it feels good, it feels natural. So it's like, there's definitely some pluses and some minuses to riding both bikes. And uh, really it just, it just takes like a, a day or two to get used to it again. So that's why I'm kind of switching over because I have about a week and a half before I have to ride um, that competition in New Zealand. So um, really today is just like the beginning of just getting comfortable again. So. That's the plan is just to get comfortable. Hopefully I can get some tricks going and then uh, you know, we'll be good to go. But um, I haven't been out these jumps in a while, so hopefully they're running good. We'll have a check and check and see how they're looking. But other than that, we're just, uh, well, right now we're sitting in traffic. So yeah, that's fun. Yay for traffic. Yay, yay, yay. 40 minutes later. All right. <sighs> traffic. Anyways, we're here. Um, so, gonna get padded up and head up the hill. Nobody's here yet, I think I'm the first one, so just gonna take my time and check things out. Jump's gotta get watered, um, make sure everything's looking good before we ride, and then, uh, then it's go time. I only have like an hour, so it's gonna be a quick session, but hopefully we can make the most of it and get some good tricks in. Hopefully, hopefully. Everything's watered, and uh, yeah, well basically here's the jump we're gonna be riding today. So, have a look-see. Gonna go off right around there. Whoosh. Kaboom! And then after that, there's this nice little step up back here. So, everything kind of got beat up a little bit by the rain, but um, you can basically hit these two jumps. This used to be like a little hip right here you can land on, but as you can see, the water and the rain really did some damage, so. Uh, but yeah, for now we got these two jumps and it's gonna be sick. So let's uh let's start riding. I'm still the only one here, so I'm waiting for people to show up. But I'm down to start riding and get some warm up laps in. All right, heading up the hill for the first run. Gotta get this one out of the way. Hopefully it goes good. But um, gotta hike up this hill. It's probably gonna be hard to see, but uh, it's a little ways up there. And it's a little deceiving because this is super fish eyed out, but it's pretty steep. So the hike up is usually 
the part that kind of wears your legs out the most. Oh my gosh. Oh. And uh, for whatever reason, it feels better to, to run. So I usually give it like a nice little jog up. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, all right. So here we are in my little perch starting area. Some people start down there. Some people start over there. For right here so but uh without further ado let's get this first run out of the way what do you say let's do it Whew. all right Whoa. Whoa. all right Not too bad at all. I'll take that. The bar swim is a little sketch, but I'll take it. Rolling away, so hopefully that's a good sign. I'm keep the session going. This is my nemesis. To some people, this may look like heaven on earth. I mean, it's just like deep rut into this nice little berm with a little kicker on the end. But to me, I, I'm, I'm terrified of this. This honestly has taken me out so many times. I thought I broke my hand. I thought I sprained my hand. It was like. I don't know, I just get terrified. I'm not super comfortable aiming for like a, a rut. I don't know, it's just this thing, I don't know. Some ideal, but some guys just, they, they launch into it full on, just like leaned in, dragging handlebars, like, not me. I'm, I'm, I'm both brakes all the way in, <laughs> cruising, barely leaned over, just about losing my speed all the way through. So that's, that's my approach. But yeah, still pretty cool, but not for me. Whew. So like I said before, I don't have a ton of time today, so I mean that first one felt pretty good. I'm just gonna keep it going. Probably three the big jump. And then I don't know what I'll do on the other one. Maybe an opposite 360. Oh. It's kind of a lofty goal for a second run in, maybe, huh? Uh three, three to oppo three. Let's do it. <clears throat> Okay. Word. This is feeling alright. Not bad at all. Sight. Alright. Two runs. We really got a decent amount of tricks in there. Still a long way to go, but good start for sure. Oh god. There it is. That's the sketch I was expecting. Woo. Redemption. Redemption. I thought better. A lot better. Finally, people showed up. Say hello to Logan. You showed up, dude. I We've been here I've, every day. I've been here today. I was here first. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We're here. Yeah. Getting real screwed. Yeah. Getting session going. Oh, bro's up there. Some other guy I'd never heard of is up there. Some, I think he's what is like a, a rookie. Yeah. Yeah. His first year on tour. Yeah. And what's your name? Hi, I'm Patrick. Patrick, where are you from? Germany. Germany. It's Patrick from Germany. Chewing the sunflower seeds. All right, session's going down. Yeah, pop it. I actually only got 15 more minutes, so power 15 minute or or something. What's that, dude? What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> oh, bro! Don't you know, dude. bro? Dude, don't you know? Don't you know, oh, bro? All right, this one's for you. Oh, vlog life. Vlog life. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Nine right <laughs> Whoa, that's feeling good. Feeling real good. <laughs> uh.
All right, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. We'll try to go upside down. Maybe do a 360 on the next one or something with some feet. Maybe some. Maybe some. <laughs> All right, whatever that meant. Let's just. I guess we'll do it. <laughs> All right, I don't go, know. Go for it. Come on. <laughs> Oh. That was dope. Winged it. I feel like I was pretty close to you on that one. <laughs> like real close. A little too close for comfort actually. Really? Yeah, like uh I feel like my front tire was like on the flip, <laughs> like I had to go to the side of you, so So it might be a loose clip. It might be alright though. Alright, alright, alright. Sometimes that tight stuff is real good. Maybe we go flip to tap next time because like mm. yeah, I don't want to touch you in the end of there. No tap. <laughs> Stoked on that one. I'm always nervous about going opposite like the first couple times, so glad the truck worked out too. All right, that's a wrap. Like I said, quick session, but uh, definitely good. Feeling pretty nice on the bike. So uh, pretty happy with the progress and hopefully get a few more sessions in before I have to leave for New Zealand. And then uh, away we go. New Zealand will be pretty epic. I haven't been to New Zealand in a long time, similar to Australia, but uh, this time, um, New Zealand will be all mountain bike and the course is supposed to be really, really nice. So, looking forward to it. I just hope I can get prepared enough before the contest starts. And uh, yeah, just make it happen. So, um, either way, it'll be fun. And I'm gonna keep riding, try to film some more and put out some more edits. So, uh, keep tuning in. And, uh, I don't know, hit that like button, subscribe, uh, comment, I'll comment back, all that good stuff. So, anyways, stay awesome. Peace.